let's look at a new outlook towards outlook let's start with a simple problem does your mailbox get full very often if you use office 365 you get 50 gb mailbox do you have enough time to handle all the mails you receive probably not don't worry there are two methods available and we should use both of them office 365 gives you an intelligent new feature called clutter just go to outlook web access and activate that feature for a few days it will silently observe the way in which you handle mails and keep learning from it soon it will start moving less important messages to a new folder called clutter now you can focus on the less crowded inbox first if someone has sent a mail only to you it obviously means it is important so let's find out how to filter out those mails and act on them first this is done by creating a rule in outlook sent only to me should be the condition and ask outlook to mark such mails with some color eventually you can group on that color and segregate mails which are more important ideally you should not be attaching files because typically you are interested in what happens to the file after it reaches the other party. The best option is to store the files on one drive and then include them as a link in the email. This option is available in Outlook as well as Outlook Web Access. Don't you think we should focus on our work proactively rather than reactively? The solution is Task Folder. Make a list of all the pending work, keep the list updated. Find time to do that work and then execute it properly. When it comes to delegated work, don't send delegation by mail. Use assigned tasks, monitor the work and then get it done. Open the task folder as well as the calendar and drag and drop a task into calendar. What am I doing here? I am taking an appointment with myself to do my own work. <laughs> this is called time management. Sometimes you need immediate response or inputs. You cannot use email there. In which case, you must use Skype for business. This is a safe corporate chat. The transcript is stored on the server. Therefore, like a mail trail, this is also legally admissible as evidence in case there is a dispute or there is some compliance issue. If you need immediate input about a document, you can still use Skype for business. Choose the application and then share it with the other person. This should be used when there is something visual in the discussion. It could be artwork. It could be a new design. It should also be used where body language matters like interviews or negotiations. And of course you need video for conducting training programs online. There are some situations where you have a problem. You know that someone in the organization will know the answer, but you don't know who that person is. In such cases, you cannot send a mail to everyone. This is when you post it on your corporate social network called Yammer. Now suppose you have achieved something good, say a great customer testimonial or a large deal which you have clinched. You want to show off, nothing wrong with that. But along with that, why don't you post the approach you use? Others will appreciate it even more and benefit from it as well. Let's say you are creating a new policy. You want everyone to read it, give suggestions, find faults and debate it out thoroughly. Obviously, the place to do it is Yammer. Do not post that document there. Documents should be on OneDrive. The link to the document should be posted on Yammer. So the discussion happens there. Now team obviously requires a lot of people and they will keep sending mails to each other. There will be files and there will be notes and meetings. It does become chaotic even if you don't want it to become. So now there is a great new feature called groups. You create a group, add the names of people into it and that's it. It creates a place where you can post mails, a delivery list, a shared calendar, 
a place to store group files and a shared OneNote notebook. So here is a summary of what I have been telling you. On the left side, common activities we perform on a daily basis. And on the right side, the most efficient recommended approach on Office 365 platform. Till now, we have been just creating files and sending them to each other using emails. That's the wrong way. Now, we have to look not just at Outlook, but beyond Outlook. We have to realize that there are multiple tools available and we have to use the right tool in the right place. And that is called efficiency. Thank <laughs> you.